You know what? There's. Oh, can I. Metaton's latest stage performance. Yeah. Uh oh, almost time for the performance. Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love? Uh oh, is this Romeo and Juliet? Look, robot. I wanted to heal first. I didn't, I didn't think I'd run into you here. Please don't kill me. Oh, my love. Please run away. Okay, I'm gonna run away. Oh, I, I can't. Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must live far apart. Can I go up? Can I climb this? Even if it breaks my heart. They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck. And then you'll die a lot. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. Those are some deep lyrics. So sad it's happening. Can I go? Can I... So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. No! Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Well, heavens have mercy. The horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. Also, hi, Sir Sonic. Ah, or Sir Sunky, I should say. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle a hundred rooms ago? That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? No, I don't. I don't remember all the rules. so sorry, it looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now. <laughs> Ring. Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. That's right. Come on, Metatune! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us! Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over, now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alpha, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me! Uh-oh. I don't know what to do here. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to this phone's act menu and press it. This is 
a darling, say goodbye. Right. So I'm yellow now. Now press Z. Did I even need to heal? I don't even think I needed to heal. Shoot. I unnecessarily used the crab apple. Oh well. <sighs> yeah. All thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs on your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But, guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself, so thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past the MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Cool. Getting close to 12, but not quite. Uh, so let's see here. It's, it's this dude again. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. Actually sold out of everything. <laughs> A big smile, how about that? Okay, cool. It's these two guys. Oh, hey. We're like taking a rain check on that kill me thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Sure. He seems happy. Alright. Well. Uh, should I go to the right? Oh, it's this guy again. Hey, hey! Did you remember my name? Yes. You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? I'll always remember that you remembered. Cool. You, you know what? Let me... Let me check up and down real quick. Come on. Hey. Hold up. Can't read it, because I'm getting a steam alert. Okay, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. That sounds awesome. Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. I know the feeling, Butto. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do. Really worth it? Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in a Snowden forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock, and suddenly... From the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. <laughs> Dish two. Dish is a very bad joke. And she howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep her coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. And then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. And I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Oh! Old lady who? Old, old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Woo! That was great. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Pyrus gets kind of cranky with all his bedtime story, but she told me to come by again, and so I did. And I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I 
noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, would you please, please promise something? Watch over them, protect them. Oh, this is Toriel, isn't it? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but... Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Shoot, dude. Is this Toriel? You get what I'm saying? That promise I made there. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Bloody. You'd be dead where you stand. That's creepy. Hey, let it up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah, you are wrong. I did die a couple of times, but... But I was brought back to life. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Dang. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks, but now, building things winding and confusing is some awful tradition. You can't go two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. I worked at the core. The inside is a maze of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, today was a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm a resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells this awful puns. It's, he's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore, so he ran away. Haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. <laughs> blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. Also, you'll need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Yeah, okay. Okay, everybody. Whoa! This is a swag hotel. I love it. This is great. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building her turn hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great story. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Gotcha. The elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can eat up. Oh, that's sad. As a slime, I'm outraged. The elevator is in use. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glamour Burger. First I'm gonna talk. I'm sorry. It's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Okay, then I'll buy something. Uh... Uh... Dude. Bitch. Dude. His face. That's scary. That's scary as heck. talk. Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if we get to show me with the customers. Sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. I, I see he 420 blazes it. you still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people, unless you're one of them. They're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers, and I, naive teenager was, that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. 
So I went out of the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, to see what had happened next. <laughs> then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. I wanted to lose face. I scrambled to pick him up, but as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. And the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. <laughs> That's really sad. Okay, what about Metaton? When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. <laughs> you know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. <laughs> Let's not talk about this, okay. Your future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Cool. I think I'll exit. I think that's enough. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold a room. Ah, oh, that would be cool, but I don't have... I don't have enough gold because I spent my money on the burgers. On the hero sandwich. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go back, because it looks like there's more to explore. Yeah, I got a cinnamon bug for you. Yeah, I got 99 gold. Alright. Well, I got 99 gold. So now I do actually have enough for a broom. I'm going to save real quick. I kind of want to save. Like, rent a room for a little bit. I'm going to stay. I want to see what, I want to see what my room is like. Haha. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Totally r worth 200 gold. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's a lamp. There's no light switch. It says that stars make their own light. Wait, can I get back on the bed? Ah, I want to get back on the bed. So there's really nothing to do in here. What a waste of 200 gold. I mean, that, that part was fun, but like there's nothing else to do.
You don't have a room key? If you leave your room, you'll have to pay again. Dang. Okay. So I'm just gonna relaunch it where I started, cause I want my two, I want my refund. <laughs> I'm salty. I want my refund. I saved right before the room too, so like I'm getting my refund. <laughs> that was a waste of money. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm getting that refund.